Hello everybody, today I have a different kind of video again. I do want to kind of just say I am trying out new things, and I figured this would be a cool one to do, because I've actually really wanted to do it for a good bit now. Um, as you know, I do collect a lot of music, whether it be on records, CDs, cassettes, whatever. And I always wanted to show it off, so I kind of did like the, oh, the best of ones. Like my favorite, Halloween, I did St. Patrick's Day one, um... But now I kind of want to just do more in depth of like narrowing it down. So I kind of want to do like a whole series kind of just on CDs right now. Because I have a lot of them and I really want to show them off. Uh, can you guys see okay? <laughs> that should be better. But yeah, I'm doing CDs. And the way I'm going to do it, because... Some people I only have one of, and some people I have, like, a ton of. So we're gonna do them by, like, artists until it gets to, like, less than... I'd say less than 10 to 15. Once it gets below that, I'll kind of group them up or whatever. So the first one, I just wanted to do Insane Clown Posse or ICP. However you know them, if you don't, if you know them for TikTok or know them through anywhere. Because I know right, like, not right now, but, like, over the past... I'd say a couple of years, a lot of their sounds, a lot of their songs have been blowing up with sounds on there, mainly from, like, the original Joker card set, um, I know there was a lot from Malenko, some from Riddlebox, and some from Bang Pow Boom, as much as I know of, that have, like, reached more than the little niche community of it on TikTok, but kind of, it blew up in a bigger way, honestly, so... These are not going to be fully chronological order, because, yeah, there's some that just kind of, I'll show off at the end if they're, like, in the, in the cardboard slip sleeve, they're not, but I'll try, I, most of them are, and also, they will not be by release year, because if they do that, then we'll be here forever, because I would have to search through them all. So first up, I have Dog Beats, and... What is that weird... Is that a, it's the glare. Okay. So yeah, um, if you can see that right, Dog Beat. This is the, um, I think it's 2021 version. I think they call it the Fat Ronnie cover. And, oh god, I never looked at the, the spine on this side. So it's like all oh, the hatchet men or whatever. That's pretty neat. But yeah, that's the original four tracks. And then it has Ask You Something, which was, um... I think they said it was an outtake from Carnival of Carnage Era, and it ended up being one of the first Forgotten Freshness, Volume 1, before they reissued the CD and cassette, and it didn't make it onto the Volume 1 and 2 combo. So that was, that was interesting, I didn't know about it till then, but I thought it was neat. So I'm, I'm moving stuff around so I can make do. And then, okay, first up we're just gonna go Carnival of Carnage, starting off with the first Joker's card. Uh, hold on. Yeah, Carnival of Carnage, um, sorry, I have to see the whole screen to be sure it's actually getting in frame right, and I'll kind of deviate over there maybe, but I'll try my best. But yeah, we have Carnival of Carnage, we have two versions, if you notice one, my thumb isn't covering it, one's actually bigger than the other, so there they are, the top one is an island repress, and I'll show you like the backs in a second, and the second one, I don't know if it's the original or if it's from 93, like, the original from 93, I don't know 100% because as soon, as soon as you get into, like, the very first pressings, or whatever, like, in the first year or two, oh my god, the phone numbers and all that crap, it's crazy. So you see the spines are different, uh, if I can focus on it, it won't focus fully, but the bottom one is the earliest pressing that I have, top one is the island pressing, and you get to see on the back the difference, um... This one, the early pressing has, um, which one is it? I know they took two songs off. They took off Black in Your Eyes, and it looks like they took off Night of the Axe. Yeah, they took off Night of the Axe off of this one. 
So it's, I don't know why. They're both good songs. Maybe to do with like censorship orders or whatever the hell. But yeah, this is the early pressing one. And it has them kind of going around in a circle. It's PSY 10004. And then uh, repress. Here's the answer. I do like these. It, I like these a little a little bit better. They look a lot more interesting than me. That's just my personal opinion. And now, the one I can never figure out how old it is. Beverly Kills, um, whatever it is. 50187. So this is neat. I like how, I like the comic style cover. And it has this on the back. Apparently there's a way to tell how early the pressing is due to how high the grass is. Which I didn't know about. Which is it, pretty interesting. And also, the disc CD of it. Uh, it's the guy, I forget what names they gave him, or if it was on, like, any versions were different, because I know there's a guy and a girl, and this one is, it's the one right after 004, 005, so it's a, it's a cool one, it's interesting, and now we're getting into Two Dope F Off album, I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep it more family friendly, but you know what it is, so we have this and this. I really want to find a cassette in an early, early CD. This is the Slim case. It says 94, but I think it's from, like... I don't know. I, I know it's not 94. I think it's later because of how the case is. But it is interesting. You can see there on the back end, and there's nothing. Or is, is there? There's something. Okay. You have that on the back. That's pretty much all that is in that case. And this one is a repress. I think it says... I don't know if this is the 2003 repress, but it sets with the early, the latest date on this one. Like that. Um, yeah, just same kind of artwork on the inside. Just basic stuff, you know? Then we have my only copy of Ringmaster. And most of these, like the repress ones, of Carnival Carnage and this, I both got it FYE at the same exact time when I first started getting into them. Also got one of the Malenkos there, I forget which one it was, I think it was the red one. You'll see it. But yeah, I still haven't peeled off the youth sticker on it. This is the repress from Island, as you can see on the inside. But it does look nice, I don't know what year this is exactly. Because apparently when I scan, like when I go to put it on Discogs, it gives me the, the unknown year one, which is weird. Still cool, still like it. Hey, now we have my copy of Terror Wheel. How old is this one? Jesus. God, I wouldn't know. But it is cool. I think this is one of the early pressings, maybe? Of the CD? I'm not sure. It's, it's 10 0 0 7 That's the low number for it. So now we're getting into the one there is multiples of. Because I have a problem. <laughs> so. I get the neatest looking one. We have the Riddle Box. All the Riddle Box. <laughs> and yeah, some of the what I did is I kind of just went on a spree trying to find like a reverse riddle box. Maybe I could find one sealed if I was lucky. Like if I was lucky, I wasn't lucky yet. But they're all different. Like I don't know if they're. Oh, this is a sealed one. This is still like semi-sealed. I did open it to look. So yeah, this one. It's the one with a white ring. I neatly put this back in whatever shrink wrap it was. Just to keep it semi safe. Yeah, same with same with this one. Another whatever version. This one actually is the one I bought on there claiming it was in the reverse little box section. And it's still sealed at the sticker top. But if you look inside of it. It is not the colors of it. I can see it better on my end. Yeah, you can see. So yeah, this one's still semi-sealed. Same with this one, right? Yeah. Another one. I'm not gonna sell these just because I think it's funny to just show like how much I've tried to find one and I failed. Uh, this one, it looks like it's been like sun-kissed or just like sun bleached even because it is oof. looks like I've seen better days but this one actually has the clear ring which is cool this is the one I was 
come by those special. Oh, this is weird. That little white bar. That is odd. I don't think I've ever noticed that in any of them. I know one of these is my original. I don't know which one it is though. I think it's um I think it's this one if I'm correct. Because I know this one came off the hinges. It's a clear one, but I I'm correct. Am I correct? Yes I am. Oh the bars on this one too, look, well, it's a bit thinner, but it's there. This is the order form one. How cool is that? <laughs> so yeah, I really want to be able to get everything off of this order form list. I don't care if it would cost me crazy money. Like, say, say in the future of YouTube or whatever, I would make like big bucks or whatever. And I have my big fancy house. Yeah, I would be spending my money trying to find this stuff. Like, that, that would be my, like, thing. I would just go out and find that stuff. And, yeah, this one, just another white ring. Still cool. I'm not going to say they're not cool. I really like the album. I'm trying to find the reverse riddle box record. Well, CDs. I know they'll be expensive. I don't care. Same with the vinyl. I want the vinyl, but, yeah, it's getting expensive for some stupid reason, even though it's a repress. Along with that. And then also the, um... Whatever the hell you call it. Uh, the cassette. I have the orange, uh, US pressing one. I need the one, I think it's from Poland, it's like a clear shell. I really want that. Okay, so now, Tunnel of Love, everyone's favorite. And I do have it as the X-rated version. I think this is the repress. Or whatever, because I got this at the gathering um, last year. Yeah, last year, the year before. Last year or 2019, I mean. So this one is... It says 4002, and it's, um, yeah, it has the clear, um, backing on it, and the rose. Uh, sorry, I'm like, I'm like trying to focus at it, and that's what the back looks like. I got this at a record store, I know that for sure. Like a local one? Huh. I think this is a, I don't know how this one ended up here. But I need to replace the backing, because the backing ended up, it looks like the teeth that hold it in place kind of fell. But these are different, um, pressings, I know that for sure, because one is 4002, and the other one's 1015. I'm guessing the 1015 is the repress, but this is 1015X. So that's just my guess on how that would go. Okay, so, first, tower out of the way. This is gonna be crazy. Next up, we have everyone's favorite, apparently. It's not my favorite, actually, but it's a lot of people's favorite. Great Malenka. Uh, see that there? These are all the island pressings. I know, I'm trying to get the... Whatever. I'm trying to get the Hollywood pressings, but they're hard to get. But yeah, you already know what it looks like. It's the basic one. I don't like the... Uh, I don't like the design of this CD so much. Honestly, I think it's kind of just, like, lacking. I got the holographic purple one too, with the inside as well. Uh, that's a holographic. That's green. I thought it was gold for a second. That was throwing me off. This was my original pressing of it. Where did I find this at? I found this. That's what it is. I found this at a Salvation Army for a dollar, <laughs> and this is in like amazing shape, other than the teeth on that being missing and had to replace. Oh well, it's just part of the case. And then we have a another green, but this hollow green. This is different. You can see on the face, hard to see, but it does say it's a promotional copy for promotional use only. No sale allowed. Must be returned. And it has the barcode punched out. So the inside looks like this. I just picked up at a another local record store. I think I paid like. $4 for it. Not bad. And then the last up on the list is the non-holographic red. The still an island pressing. Why are all my Malinkos? Like, I need to fix the teeth in them. God. I just noticed that. Like, what in the world? Okay, so... I think these will be kind of the same one. Or whatever. So we have... Excuse me. Look at 
fell. Yeah, we have Forgotten Freshness Volume 1 and 2. I'm guessing this is like one of the original versions of the Volume 1 and 2 set. I'm not 100% sure, but it's interesting. Let's see inside, and Volume 1. Be easy to just flip it over to Volume 2. And this is before the fist of this person. It's interesting. And then, right after it, I don't know if these came out before or after. The Hocus Pocus singles. I don't have all of them, but I have some of them. And I have the green and that. So, like, the red one. I just picked this up. I just picked up the green. green I just picked up. That's what it is. I don't know why that confuses so much. So, like, red has the Hocus Pocus Headhunters mix, Radio Edit, the Headhunters Instrumental, and then the LP version. That's what the back looks like. And I'm guessing these were from England or whatever, just because of the slim cases. I know they like use them over there, and I know a lot of my David Bowie um, singles from around that time period, like late '90s, early 2000s, are the same way. And then the green one is the Headhunter edit, Prom Queen, My Kind of Bitch, and it's Schizophrenic, and it still has the Made in England um, st the sticker on it. So that's what the inside of that looks like. And I like that version of Malenko better. That like dark green, whatever, so that's cool. Now we're getting into what is this? another love song CD single. I do have Jekyll Brothers, I will show them in a second. I just figured why not. Yes, the front and back, what it looks like. It has the clean version, album version, instrumental. Why is the clean version like 12 seconds like smaller or shorter? I think smaller. Sounds weird. And then next up is Jekyll Brothers. Jake and Jack. Which one's which? I forget. Jake is. I always think Jake is like the happy looking one and Jack is the angry one, but oh well. This one was my copy from FYE. This one I got at my first gathering in 2019 for 10 bucks. So yeah, they look nice. They're both the red. Oh, they're not both the red case. What am I thinking of? Oh, and they both have different album art. I never noticed that. I feel like an idiot. So yeah, uh, this was Jake. This one's Jack. Oh yeah, the, the color matches that. I'm an idiot. So yeah, that's what they look like. I wonder if the CDs are different. And it might be. So we have Jack. And we have Jake. So that's neat. I never noticed this. I'm guessing it would be a very big pain to try to replace like the disc trays or like the CD case if it cracks. That would probably be very like detrimental because I do not know of many CD cases that are colored that you can just go and find this easy. But still, really cool. I was, it took me like five years to find um, Jake, so I thought that was like a relief. Okay, now we have my copies of Bizarre Bizarre, both of them. I'm gonna start off with Bizarre. The eye, I'm gonna start off with I, I'm gonna call them Eyeball and Question Mark so that way it's easier. So, we have Eyeball. Uh, I don't know if this is the original or not, but it does have the glasses. I wonder if I had if I put it on there. Oh, that's cool. That's so cool. <laughs> I'm gonna nerd out for a second. Ooh, that's so neat. Okay. So yeah, I, I normally try to put them, like, in the booklet, kind of, so that way the little, um, teeth or whatever right there, they don't get, like, broken or dent anything. Now my copies of the question mark. These two, um, one of these is my original. Which one's my original? This one's my original. Because of the sticker residue on the back from FYE, I remember that. So this one has the dice. They're... Same with the other one. Both unopened. Well, like, both unused, I mean, my bad. And I don't know if these are the... Was it... The, I think these are, like, the first edition... Like, first pressing. Because of the sticker, maybe? Or I don't know if that's second pressing. But, yeah. I have two of the sticker parental advisory labels. Which is interesting. 
and the other one you actually already saw um, a few months ago for my birthday. A friend of mine sent me it. This is the non-holographic one with it printed on it. I'm guessing it's the second edition of pressing of it. Let me see if I can actually see the difference quick. Nope, they're still same. Um, whatever. So yeah, that was pretty cool to find. have I'll do all the race era stuff in one sitting even though there's stuff in between it okay that's gonna be a later one too but we have I'll go with the juggalo homie single so we have the street version bloody bitch juggalo chant radio version and the music video is on it so that's neat the inside Apparently there's a version of this where it just says homie. Or is it just homie? It's called Jarlo Homies. Oh yeah, we have the Wraith next. Shangri-La version. This is it has the DVD in it. It has the, the book. Um I don't know which DVD it is, because I know there's two different ones. It's the yellow shattered glass one. That fell out? Uh, weird. But that's not a big deal because I actually have another two disc tray insert that I can just easily put into here. So that, this one again with an FYE copy again. I might have to replace the whole case just to keep it safe. Jesus. Now we have my copy of the Health Pit. This one is crazy. Go with this one first. This is sealed. This was one they did like ten dollars. It was like the ten for ten deal or whatever, or ten for twenty deal. I don't remember what it was. So this has the bootleg banner, Wicked, and the Wicked Wonka tour. Bootlegged in Denver, Wicked Wonka tour, and the video for Real Underground Baby. I don't know why I was thinking of that. That's weird. But then we have these two. I don't remember which ones, which DVD was in each, but they each have the booklet. Um. Oh, and I almost dropped the booklet. Bootlegs in Denver, Wicked Wonka Tour was this one. They should have like different, not different covers, but like, it should be a different thing to tell you which one it is. Even. Oh, I didn't close it right. Because the DVD fell out, are you kidding me? That ain't good at all. I was wondering, I was like, why wouldn't it go into place? But it did that. So, yeah, that is. That was not. I could have sworn I had the other one. This one is my FYE copy. I know that for sure. Booklet again. This is the bowling balls one. This one has the bowling balls music video. Nice on that. I know there's a few others, but my health like I do I would want to collect them all at some time. But Hell's Pit is not my favorite Joker's card. If I have to be honest, it's not one of my favorites. I could I could go my life without collecting them. But I would like some of the hoodies. I think that would be neat to have. Now. Then. Let's see. I don't know how this got in the mix. Oh, this one's stuck there. Oh, this one I need to fix. But, yeah. Where's it of the hood? I know I have another copy around of that one somewhere. I don't know if I sold it or not. I did. But I have this. This is the tin. That has the rolling papers. Only 10,000 made. Still sealed. The only break in the seal. Where is it? Uh, right there. Right next to his hand. Just a little bit of it. Like tearing up. It's still sealed. That's awesome. And then we have Forgotten Freshness 3. Forgive. This one is in rough shape. Like, just how I got it, I think the, the booklet was water damaged, or whatever, and you can tell. So that's what it looks like. Uh, yeah, the booklet's in rough shape. If anyone has, a, like, a decent copy out there, that's not gonna, like, cost me an arm and a leg. Because I don't know how much these are, but I don't know 
how expensive they are or whatever. Let me know. I would gladly buy one from you. And then I have volume four with the, I think it has the Hello Wicked stuff in it. But yeah, the Hello Wicked compilation too. I think it was 10 years since that maybe, right? I don't know. How old, how old is this one? 2005, so over 10 years. So yeah, we had the Hello Wicked compilation in the back. We have one four, we have the spooky faces. All sorts of fun stuff in here, you know. Then, somehow Psychopathic from Outer Space got in here. That'll be another video. Okay. Now we gotta reach. <laughs> more, more of that stuff got in here. Ow. I don't know how. Weird. But yeah. A little bit of the stuff before next Joker's card set, so we have the FTFO album, again, another local record store hookup from when I started collecting them, that's what it looks like, and it has the ad for the Tempest inside, which is funny, because that's what's up next, the Tempest, this one's still sealed, from the 10 for 10 deal, or whatever they had, we have Eye of the Storm, which, is there something in here? I thought there was something in here for some reason, but yeah, that's how it looks. I don't think I've ever fully listened to this one. It's probably not a good idea. There's another... I know Yellow Bots. But like, um... I never really listened to any of the side stuff other than Joker cards stuff. From like, in between Joker cards. Like from from the race to Bang Ka Boom, I don't think I've ever sat down and listened to them fully. Same with like the Tempest, I don't think I've ever sat down and listened to that. Other than some here and there. Still interesting. And we have The Shining. Uh, I have the record of this. You'll see it when I do that one. This one has a little promotional flyer. For the Psychopathic Murder Mix. And Twisted's Wicked album. And that's what the inside looks like. Oh, I can match up with the doorway. Dedicated to Butterfly on the back. Oh, that's cool. There we go. Kinda matches up. Me. Out of the way. Next up is the second set of the Joker cards. Which is awesome. We have Bang Pow Boom. All three colors. I don't I didn't get these when they first came out. I got them around like 2012, 2013 ish. This when I started listening to them fully. 2012 really. Them. That. Um. Is there anything inside of here? I could have sworn there was. Oh yeah. So. They each have a booklet. They each have a little promotional for the tour. And then they have a different photo on the back. I know some people have already seen it all, but either for the people who are like still get starting to get into them or haven't seen a lot of them. No, it's not the same photo. I was very confused because I don't think I've ever sat down and like done them back to back. Like looked at them back to back, I mean. I'm still trying to find a nuclear nucle nuclear one as well. The gold is what I call it. The gold version. That's the one I need. And then here's the one I'm guessing from like the miracle shoot. And there are some extra pictures in there. But I'm not gonna waste time looking at those at the moment. So yeah, those are the First, now we're into the second Joker card, Death Set, or whatever you call it. And then we have ICP, or just the old stuff. This has a lot of a lot of songs in it. Thirty. Damn. I think Ask You Something is the one here, I believe. If I can find it, can I find it? No, not because my eyes are pretty much shot. <laughs> Yeah, next up, 
we have... If I can move everything out of the way, right? I can't. Mighty Death Bomb. And this one was a copy that I found with the lenticular cover. Kind of stuck onto it like this. And this kind of just how it came. Back. And then... Yeah, that's up to the side. It has... I'm guessing this is, yeah, this is a poster. So it's a poster. Which is neat. And then you have like a little, the actual cover of it. And there was just, just I think it's just them, the death pop like, skull exploded like that. Still cool. This is actually one of the first times I heard them. I heard none of the chainsaw. Actually, that's how I started getting into them. And now, my room is covered in merch. It's like a gateway. But yeah, I got all. This was my first copy. This is how I got it. FYE, I think I paid $10 for this one. The Gathering paid $5 for the black one. I remember that. And then, on Mercari during the pandemic, I think I paid like 15 for this one. But they all have the CDs. Um, yeah, this my copy definitely taken the brunt of the damage and the wear, as you can see. But that's to be expected. Like I had that in my car. I traveled with that one. That that was a good copy. Uh, gotta reach over everything. And then the miscellaneous ones will be later. Then we have um, the Hallow Wicked 20th Anniversary. I remember pre-ordering this, being so excited. I think I changed the case on this just to keep it safe. And if not, I should. So yeah, that's... Kind of bummed there's no booklet. That would have been interesting, but it's just that. A single piece of paper. We have disc one. And, if I can be careful, disc two. I don't know who did the artwork. I think it was Mr. Eight Legs. I am, like... I believe it was. I'm not sure, though. Not like, not like his tag, but it looks like his work. I believe he posted something about this. Maybe I gotta double check. I'm pretty sure, but I'm not sure. And if you don't know, he is part of Super Famous Fun Time Guys. At the moment, <laughs> excuse me, drink. So yeah, now we have Forgotten Freshness Volume Five. I remember when this one came out. Well, not when, not when it came out. When I got it. Huh. That's my dad. Richard Booth. I don't remember. I didn't think that was that old. I thought that was newer. I thought it was like when Light was on there. They did a music video then, but... Huh. Maybe. So yeah. I guess that looks like I like the colorway on this. Really beautiful looking one. Marvelous Missing Link. This was the pre-order copy that I got when it first came out. I remember pre-ordering it and wondering why it was showing up about a week late. Now we know. But then, yeah, that. And yeah, you can get like the basic one. It's just this. I had to kept this in a really good shape. I see. That's the inside. The slip case I'll show you in better detail. It's like a... It is embossed, I believe that's what you call it. A neat one. We have the found version. I remember when this came out, I had my dad drive me to FYE to pick it up. Because I was so excited to listen to it. And then I remember when I got home, I put it into my laptop and I listened to it for like hours. Yeah, so that's what it looks like. Nice one. And I figured if we're going in order semi... We have the outtakes. I got this at the gathering, I think this year. Well, last year, 2021. That's the back. It's still sealed. I don't know. With CDs nowadays, I don't really want to open them. Just because I know the value. I'm kind of shoot up crazy if I ever need extra money. Mainly, these are just to collect. Um, Hell Cellar. This was a cool one when it came out. I got this at FYE a week before my first gathering. I don't like how like flimsy it seems. But they could have done something extra with it, because I, I think the artwork was kind of just iffy. 
It's just, it's just the health pit version with flames. There isn't really anything extra to it, which I thought would be cool. If that makes sense to you. And then we have Fearless and Fury, the slipcover version. I don't know if there was another version, but this is the one I got. I like this cover. I think it looks like a more interesting, but it looks more like a promotional copy would be. Fight back on the back. That's what it looks like. Fat. Do I have any of the. I don't know where it went then. There was a the promotional card for Flip the Rat to download it. But that's not a problem because I have Flip the Rat right here. And I actually have the record of it too for Record Store Day. I have two of them. I don't like how it's a trifold like this. Just because I'm not I'm not really a big fan of them. Oh, it's a more fold. Oh no. Why do we need this many? Couldn't you just put like a little booklet in there? Because now I'm worried to mess this up. Plus I don't like folding them back up. It's annoying to me. <clears throat> now we roll into the new era. Which is the Yum Yum era. So we have Yum Yum's lore. Got this at the gathering last year. Still sealed. This has, it has Ding Dong Doll on it. I don't know if that was the only ones. But some of these should have made it onto the full album, Yum Yum Bedlam. Which, honestly, I like how the front looks. I'm not a big fan of how the back looks. Plus the, uh, whatever they are, um, the, the new lettering. I'm not a big fan of, like, the vine type lettering, in my opinion. It's a bit weird. I'm growing on it, but it's also interesting, I think, um, what is it, the jokes, the jokes is track 13, it's labeled something else on streaming services, so that's cool, and then we have, uh, Wicked Vic the Weed, now, yeah, and what I think they're gonna do with, which are, what's the next one, I think it's Pug Ugly or whatever, when I go to the gathering this year, I'll get it, and I'm, the story about this one, I met someone on, Facebook in the group that was doing pickups, so I said, hey, can you pick this one up for me, and maybe pick a shirt up, and we ended up doing trades, and then we ended up becoming pretty good friends, and he actually sent me the birthday package with, um, the bizarre question mark CD in it, which is pretty neat, and also, traded me for the head I'm wearing, Ooh. yeah, so I'm picking him one, I'm picking one up for him at the gathering of the next one, what I think they're gonna do, there's gonna be a song like Wicked Vic, like the intro song. A few normal ones. Like there's gonna be one, two, four normal songs. And then they're gonna do another cover. And then they're gonna do a remix of something off the album. Cause this one has Hungry Like a Wolf. If you didn't see my video on that, with this versus the Twisted one, I urge you to go watch it. I think it's interesting. Cause I did that immediately as the song came out. And then they had the Ain't No Time, the Kuma's Timeless remix. I think they're gonna do like one from each point on the album maybe they're gonna release a music video and then do that or whatever but i would like to see like i would like to see remixes of some of them i think that'd be cool and now that we're out of that way we have some miscellaneous ones to get through quick i'm not gonna show off the discs or anything because i have these in like the plastic sleeve or whatever oh my god i'm at 40 minutes yeah, this isn't really being cut down, so enjoy. So yeah, CD singles are like the EPs that come into cardboard sleeves. First up we have from the Pendulum, it's the track Run. <sighs> Another cool one I got at the local record store, same with this one, Fatter Wax Sampler. It's the black one. I want to get the other ones, I think it'd be neat. But yeah, we have Who You Know, this is from Hello Wicked 2016. Neat, beautiful, comes in a paper sleeve. Uh, another Hello Wicked single, I don't know the name of it, but I can probably put it up on the screen right here, ta-da. Yep. <laughs> and then we have the Hello Wicked 2012 single, Amber Alert. This one's open, still. We have the 2010 Hello Wicked one. And if I'm correct, this is the one with Boondocks, correct? I don't know, this is the only one I'll open to check. I think the track listing. Oh yeah, and it's like seam splitting like crazy because the glue's just giving out. Is it? No, it's not. Then which one is it? I don't know. 
Now I'm stressed. <laughs> Not like super stressed, but you know, stressed. I know I have it though. I at least could have sworn I had it. I would hope I have it. But also, I don't like how it's a sticker. It's a sticker design on the front and the back of just like a black cardboard case. Instead of printing it up like you couldn't have. I would have rather you just given it to me in just a sleeve. Damn. Oh yeah, we have Carnival Christmas, the uh, Island Repress. Yeah, still sealed with the original price tag on it. $4.99 from whatever store this was. Hot topic. <laughs> That's cool, I never knew that. <clears throat> we have Red Moon Howl. This one's still sealed, but I've definitely seen better days. It's super faded. I don't know who else had it before me. We have the Cyphers 1 through 4 CD, still sealed. Awesome. We have Bang Pow Boom Sampler, sealed, amazing. I actually saw someone trying to sell an open one for like $25. I don't know why. I think these were like, what, like a dollar? Whatever, they were free. This one still has the hype sticker on it, actually, so that's neat. Um, Zara Bazaar Sampler, this one is still sealed, but I have an open one, which is neat. And we have Mad Professor. Again, another one that's sealed, but it's kind of tearing around this weird little bubble. We have the... <laughs> Damn, it's like We have the Psychopathic Records sampler. I'm guessing this is from like 2010-ish. Because it has stuff from Bang Bell Boom Era. Some Twisted Edda stuff from uh, Wicked, which was 2009. Blaze, they have Dub Sack, which was like 2010 for Gang Rags. And then, like, ABK, Nervous, Last Chance, that was 2010. They have Boondocks and Mikey Clark on there. Still sealed, really cool. Then we have, I think was one of the more interesting ones out of singles and all that. The Sick Kids EP from the, I think it's the Violent J Solo Tour. Still sealed, this is the one with, um, Young Wicked, Lil E, and then Nova Rockefeller. This is the back of it, it's awesome. I love it. And, that's it. That's it for that one. I am not missing anything, am I? Nope, I'm good. So yeah, I'm next up will be um I don't know what it'll be. Either twisted, because I have a lot of theirs, or something else. And I'm not gonna hear any slander and no hate for either side because I like both sides, I don't care. And this is more to just show people kind of what music I have. Which I think would be cool. So you know what? If you liked it, let me know down below. Like, comment, subscribe, share, do whatever I got. See you in the next one.